Hey guys, what's cracking? It is Kraken Nation, coach of the Boston Bisharts, and today we are back with our CSML Season 6 Week 2 battle against the Texas Toros. Quick recap, uh, we managed to win our first one battle. It was a great game against the Westerville Whale Lords, but we are now coming in and hoping for the best. Um, you know, we, we prepped a crazy team for this. Um, it's Super! I'm super proud of the end result of the team we constructed for this week. Um, I think I prepped it really well, so I'm really hoping it does well. Um, it'd be really a shame if I put in all that work. I think the team builder was 24 minutes, which if you haven't checked out, you should definitely go check out. But um, yeah, uh, team is all loaded in, so I think we're ready to go. But um, <laughs> man. Every EV counts, right? Every EV counted in this. In this, that's really what it came down to in this team. In this team, um, it was really just every single EV counted. Um, ah, man. So, yeah, we're gonna have to see how this goes. Um, Easy Bake is definitely a very tough opponent. I'm very nervous to play him. Um, he's got a rain team that definitely matches up fairly well. So. We're just gonna. Do, he's waiting for us to send the challenge. So yeah, um, Evie's looked good. I don't think there's anything that like I this like this is the kind of game where like I can't really uh, talk a whole lot anymore just because like or at least not talk anymore. But like, there's like not a whole lot of reason to wait because this is the best team like I'm gonna be able to have for this battle. I feel like so we're just gonna send it um, and we we'll get this get this rodeo kicking. <laughs> um, Getting some uh, words of encouragement from Dubstep, maybe. Maybe he's gonna ins insult us. Um, not sure. <laughs> With Dub, you never really know, but so he does not bring Polytoad, which is honestly totally okay with me. Um, because that is me, Victini is here, oh, sorry, Azelf is here, but no Politoed. Um, <laughs> that's honestly so okay for me, though, because Politoed was the threat. Um, oh, man, that makes me so happy, actually, because removing Politoed was, like, priority number one. No Swampert means all the grass coverage is just useless. No Scissor. So, honestly... We're in a curious position without those two Pokemon here. Um, Drapion is interesting. No Aromatisse is nice because that means we can just get Toxic off on a lot of stuff. Um, with Because Avalog just takes shit from this team. Um, Goopy basically only has to deal with uh, Thunderous, which is really nice. Um, Victini can clean up if that Drapion gets some prior damage. Um, Uh, yeah, Victini would clean up. Um, Thunderous can also do a good deal of damage. Hidden Power Ice would have been nice, but he did bring Porygon too, so it's good that we have Focus Blast. I feel very good about that. Um, Victini can do a lot of work. It's entire. Oh, sorry, Meloetta. And then, yeah, Avalug only really needs to wall. Ah, Drapion is really the only Pokemon Avalug needs to wall. Um, as well as Toxicking, maybe some stuff would be neat. Um, I think that could be like a calm minding. One of these two Pokemon, I'm honestly expecting one of these two, two Pokemon right here to be a setup sweeper. Um... So either that's like a calm mind Cofagrigus or like a nasty like a, which means there's some threats here on the field for sure. Um, we're just gonna lead with Kecleon. Um, and he has no defogger, so clicking Stealth Rocks is honestly gonna be the play. Um, So the question here is, what do I do? Um, we got our rocks up, which is really huge for Victini getting the the, the uh, matchup later on in the match. I am kind of expecting a Will-O-Wisp or a Toxic. Um, Kecleon is nice to have healed up, um, but I don't think it's going to go for... I think if anything, it's going to click Calm Mind or Will-O-Wisp or something. Um, in either case, I think Meloetta is the play because... I think Kofagrigus only gets like Dark Pulse to hit us, um, 
We're just going to start plugging in stuff. Um, Cough Egregious gets Dark Pulse. The only move that it can hit a super effective with is going to be Dark Pulse, I think. So I'm just going to click, uh, I'm just going to go into Meloetta here. Um, yeah, because I'm not going to be staying in a click Sucker Punch. That's not going to do like crap to this thing. Um, and Sucker Punch is just too reliable in this situation. Plus, Coffee Grease being, being weakened is like pretty chill. Um, Yeah, we can do it KO if that's and if it's offensive. Like a trick room nasty plot, that would be dope. Um But we could definitely beat that set too. So I'm just gonna go into Meloetta. Um So he does click sub. <laughs> so I'm just gonna click Shadow Ball here. Um, so, right here he has to s either take a ton of damage or go into, um, Porygon 2. So I feel that this is a chance to really easily click Heal Bell. Um, so it would have been nice to have made the play into Thunderous there, but that was a pretty safe, I took a safe play. Um, pouring on 2 is hard to hit. Porygon 2 is very hard to hit with either of our moves, so um, I'm going to go into Zeus here. And I'm just going to click knockoff here. Um, So, does Hariyama get... I actually do want to calc how much that did to Thunderous, and I do need to keep Thunderous um, ready to switch in again. Um, we really want to know if this is an offensive variant. It does not look like it based on the damage. Try attack did 34, so he is definitely not offensive whatsoever. Um, so, that means Avalug might even actually be able to switch in. I am not sure. Um... Avalog can switch in, which is neat. Um, now the question for me is if um, does Hariyama get pursuit? No, it does not. So honestly, I feel like Ice Punch is his play here. I don't want to weaken Victini. Um, we did knock off Thunderous. We did knock off his Assault Vest, so. Um, I want to know if he's max knockoff did how much, um, 20%. Yeah, so he's probably this variant right here, um, because if he was max HP, he, we would not have done 20, so he's this variant right here, and he has, no longer has the assault vest, so Thunder is going to do a lot, but we do want to keep this thing alive, honestly, as it is able to knock off and just get a lot of momentum on a lot of this team. Um, I am expecting the ice type attack, which unfortunately, I don't have a very comfortable switch at um, I think Avalog takes like a ton of damage from this thing clicking close combat. Um, yeah, it does. And this thing also gets knockoff, I believe. I guess I didn't prep well enough to switch into Hariyama because my wall is... Um... I'm curious how much... I'm curious, will he click um... Ice Punch if he has it? Or actually, he could click Fake Out. Um... I don't think in any situation where he would click Bullet Punch. Um... Ice Punch would do a lot. He could click Fake Out. Um, how much does Mellow want to take from any of these attacks? It only takes a lot from Knock Off, which I don't know if he would click. Um, he might click. It's actually a pretty safe move for the most part. Especially considering I didn't bring anything, any good switch-ins to, to a Knock Off. Um, yeah, Knock Off KOs. So I don't know what I want to take this Knock Off right now. Kecleon is actually fairly expendable. 
Um, so we are going to just go on go into Kecleon. Um, and we're just going to click the Thunder Punch, I think. Um, Victini, if it gets up, depending on the that set now, Victini, if I can get, uh, I gotta weaken some stuff before Victini can clean up. Um, So he does. G I can't switch in this very comfortably anymore. But I feel like he's just gonna click recover. Um, I'm gonna go into Avalug here. Um, okay, so this is gonna be an intense game. He's making some good plays. Kofagigas is hard because it can definitely put pressure on. But I am gonna go. He's letting Porygon two get very very weakened. Um, I don't know what his play is going to be. Um, yeah, I don't know what his play is. He, last time he switched... Last time he switched into... <sighs> Kofagrigus into Porygon 2. Um, how much did my Kecleon... I would, actually, it would be very nice to know the, the EV spread on that thing. How much did Porygon 2 take. So we're going to start doing some plugins. Um, Thunder Punch did 15 from our, so that did like no damage. Um, so he's probably max defense. Um, <sighs> wow, did that only do 15? Um, I'm so confused. Oh, this is regular Porygon is why. Oh my god, my bad. That's so, I'm so really stupid. The Calc Master has messed up his Calc, ladies and gentlemen. Um, however, he is just a max defense, I think, because that did 15 exactly. So I think the play here is going to be to click, sh for predict the forced switch, and just click Hyper Voice. Um, And now I can just make the safe side shock, honestly. Um, so with this gone, Victini is that's just one Pokemon that Victini can. Oh, it wasn't even physical. Um, Victini just needs to get a flame charge off, and then it just sweeps. Um, the question is, do I switch into Victini here? I don't know the Drapion set, and if it's like an Assault Vest, it's probably not Assault Vest because he had Assault Vest. I don't want to assume, but it's probably not Assault Vest because he had Assault Vest on Hariyama. Um, Victini, if that's like an offensive Drapion. <sighs> Blue Flare KOs it out of the park. If it's Swedef Drapion, Blue Flare does not KO it out of the park. So, And it's going to do a lot back to us. So I'm just going to click the... Psy shock here um, and KO this thing. Um, so now we are in a convenient switch in where Drapion does have to come in um, and we can get a read on its set, which is what I really actually wanted all along. Um, I can switch into Avalog so easily here. Um, I'm going to calc how much that pursuit just did to Meloetta because it did not look like offensive damage at all. Um, having Meloetta weakened does kind of suck. Um, Drapion clicking Pursuit with 80. Did 49 to 58.8. So he's probably offensive. Yeah, so he's this variant. So Victini could clean up here very easily. Um, 
all I really have to do here is click. I don't know what he's going to click. I don't want to get this thing too weakened. Um, but if I can weaken it a little bit. We aren't running enough speed to outspeed this thing. Um, so it is kind of a threat. Um, yeah, le letting Meloetta get weakened is problematic now. Um, I should have predicted the outswitch there. I was going to click Toxic too. I was thinking about it. That really sucks. Um, I feel like I have to go into Thunderous here. Um, and that could be out of rain. I'm very nervous that that's a Scarf Thunderous T in the back. Um, which means Victini can't... Is, I don't want to have Victini try to sweep prematurely. Um, but Drape, Thunderous can basically just come in and click knockoff um, very easily. <sighs> I don't, I don't want to... Melo would only be able to come in on a free switch. Um, Gudra is honestly not very good in this battle, but it's only good against Thunderous. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch into Kecleon. Um, Kecleon probably can't even... <laughs> Jesus, that Avalanche did nothing. So I'm going to try to get a read on this, this Kofagrigus' set. Um, that Avalanche did, like, no damage. Yeah. So it's probably like this set right here. Um, nope, he's not actually. He's Spadef. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, he's Spadef. So. Yeah, wouldn't I have liked to run those few speed EVs now to get the... Although it, the reason I was doing it was just because Avalanche um, for Aromatis. But wouldn't I have liked to get those speed EVs to get the jump on this thing now? Um, sub Cofagrigus is kind of annoying. Oh man, this is tough. I should have expected the pursuit on Drapion. I don't know. Um, oh, man, I'm in a terrible spot here. I don't know anything about this thing set. Kecleon is so useless, but Kecleon also can't break the sub. I'm almost positive. Um, the T punch. Oh, it actually has a good chance to. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Kecleon and start trying to break this thing's sub up. Um, Um, so he's probably just going to click Will-O-Wisp again here, so I think the play is going to be to switch in Victini. Um, and I hope to God Victini can kill this thing with the blue flare right now. Um, hope to God it can take a Shadow Ball. If I click this thing, I'm going to lose my... Man, that would suck. Um, he wants to keep Kofagrigus alive, um, for sure. I'm just going to click the Flame Charge, honestly. Um, yeah, the Hariyama has Fake Out, so I'm just going to click Flame Charge here. Um... So, Blue Flare does not kill. Does Flame Charge break a sub? No, it does not. So, we are in a tough spot, but we're going to...
And that was premature. That was premature on my part. Um, I'm just going to go into mixtape here. Man, this is not good, guys. This is not going well. Um, this thing is a threat. Hopefully he clicks pain split again. Please live, Meloetta. Please don't die. All right, nice. We're in business. We're in business for a turn here. I'm just going to click the shadow ball the, um, and get some damage off on something. Force a switch or something. Um, get that thing out of here. Okay, that is fine with me right now because I, I'm just going to calc how much that Shadow Ball did um, to Drapion. <sighs> Losing Meloetta sucks for sure. Um, he didn't stay in though with Kofagrigus, so I am tempted to just click Toxic. Um, If, if I'm basically I'm thinking if I go into Copper Greek and I force him back to out. Um, so this is like a min. And how much is my Victini gonna do? Victini, I, I kind of brought Victini out too early. Um, I was hoping to force an out switch there. Um, I'm just gonna click Toxic here. Um, and hope for the best, because if he go, switches on to Cofagrigus, this puts me in a really good spot. Um, I'm going to keep my Gudra alive to take on the guaranteed way to hopefully take on El Thunder over here. Um, please connect. So I am expecting him to just click Willow here, um, and I'm just going to try to switch around through him. Um, I haven't revealed Sucker. Um, um, and now I'm expecting a Pain Split, or a sub, or something. Hex is his last move he revealed. Okay, 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 cool, 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 cool. We're going to go back into Kecleon, I think, here. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> we're managing to... <laughs> He's not. He's gonna click sub or willow here, guaranteed. Um, in both situations, I feel most confident going into thunderous. I think, just because thunderous doesn't click a physical attack on anything except, um, El Thunder, who Gudra is only only Gudra has to deal with right now. Um, yeah. In either case, I'm just gonna go into a. Uh, <laughs> and I am just going to click knockoff. Um, as this puts Victini in an amazing position. Um, <sighs> I want to make sure that Thunderous can kill. Um, Zeus, I know you have no attack investment, but I did. I at least didn't give you an attack reducing nature, um, so don't let me down here, buddy. Um, no item. Yeah, we still kill, so I'm just gonna click knock off again. So thunderous is down, um, which is great, honestly, for us. Um, here I think the play is going to be to just, 
Oh, Thunderous is down. Wait, that means I can just switch in Gudra all day long. And this thing's probably going to click Fake Out here, honestly. Um, oh, I'm just going to say so. So, Thunderbolt does not do, like, anything. Oh, jeez, what just happened? Um, my computer's running kind of slow right now, but, um... So, we're just gonna put up, pull up Thunderous again. Come on, Zeus, if you could get a kill, that would be so super dope right now. Um, yeah, this is a set, and he's not running any... I want to keep this thing alive because it threatens the crap out of Copagrigus. Um, and if this, again, this thing does a lot of damage to um, Avalug. Close combat isn't really high chance to, to it KO even after leftovers. That sucks. Um, Gudra can help take on Azelf in a pinch, which is why I really don't want it to die here. Um, Thunderous is nice because it just puts so much pressure on Kofagrigus here. Um, Kecleon is nice because it can just revenge kill. And Gudra is honestly the most expendable single member. But Gudra can put a lot of work in against a lot of other things. And I don't know how much Gudra can do with any of these attacks to um, this freaking uh, Haryama. Power up is a decent amount, I suppose. But Close Combat's going to body us back. Um, he's going to click Fake Out, you already know. <sighs> 19... 16 plus 71, um, what's 16 plus 71 guys, somebody help me out, <laughs> 87, so 88 with the decimals, 88, to 90, no wait, 104, yeah, so, so it is a pretty good roll in our favor to get off two, um, two attacks with Gudra, um, and then I can come with heart, uh, Victini and potentially win the game, actually. So the play is going to be to go into Gudra here, um, into his fake out. Take it. Was that a good, was that a low roll at least? Yeah, it was a, it was a, an average roll. So I'm just going to click Power Whip now. Um, Wow, that really sucks. Um, Victini can't kill a thick fat Hariyama anymore. Um, with flame charge. I don't know how to execute my win con. Um, I don't think Zoops knows my team, but um,
the, the, the I have to go into one of these two. That crit really sucked because Big Team is about to clean up shop. Um, the game gets a lot more complicated now, essentially. Um, Thunderous. I'm just trying to think. Victini can clean up 100%. Um, if I go into Thunderous, Thunderous can't clean up 100%. Um, Thunderous, both Pokemon force out as Elf turn one. Um, and I can't go into Avalug, obviously. Um, so, so I'm going to go into Thunderous, um, I think is the play, because Thunderous is a lot lower health and can't KO these two Pokemon right now, or can't KO Dra Drapion, I thought, oh, no, it totally could. Um, yeah, Thunderous could KO this entire team right now. Um, we just have to figure out the Azelf set. Um, I just want to plug in a, the offensive Drapion. Um, yeah, Thunderbolt. I could, so I could go into either one of them. Because even at minus one, Victini can't get this on, um... On Hariyama. No item. I'm gonna go into Zeus, I think. Um. Well, the thing is, I'm curious what... I'm gonna go into... Victini, because that's going to lure out Azelf. I can go into Kecleon and click Sucker, would be the play. Um, and honestly, there's no need to make the risky play and click Blue Flare, I feel, but I feel like I'm going to have to just in case he wants to switch out to Azelf. If Blue Flare misses, I'm going to be feeling some kind of way. Um, he's 100% running Fire Last on that Azelf, is why Avalo can't wall it. Um, So he does opt to... I feel like he has to go into Azelf here now. If he goes into Hariyama, that Azelf is running nothing to hit me. Um, Okay, so I am curious that Azelf is Life Orb, um, and how much to do to Kecleon is going to matter a lot. Um, Kecleon was not holding an item. We gotta get a read on this Azelf set as fast as possible. Um, it, it clicks knockoff and it is holding a life orb, which did how much damage? 35. So he is especially offensive 100%. Um,
Okay, so I still see a way to win here. Um, it involves getting a flame charge off with... Um, with uh, involves still getting a flame charge off with... Um, I do have speed? No. I do not. One forge. Um, Thunderbolt Punch would have killed, but alas. You, you learn, you learn, you learn. Um, I can still get, um, no, I still can't set up on this thing. Um, I need to force it to take some damage in one form or another. We're going to click Thunder Punch because he's going to click Fake Out here, and if not, um, we kill him anyway, so... Uh, Thunder Punch is the safest play. Um, <laughs> so, we do click Avalanche here, which does a ton of damage to his entire team. Um, If he switches out into Azelf, Azelf can't. I, I don't think. I, I hope I. <sighs> so. I'm very... Uh... I am trying to pave the way for a Victini sleep because Thunderous doesn't outspeed. Um, how much do I do to Azelf if it switches in here? Uh, if it attacks me, it can't kill me. Uh, but I'm going to do a ton of damage back to it and hopefully not kill it. Um, how much does... <sighs> Man, that locks me through the park. If he switches out here, I basically lose. Um, I lost, guys. <laughs> Victini cannot take a no knockoff from this Azel. Um, if it can, that's my only chance. The roll is massively in his favor. I guess having Gudra alive here would have been very nice. Um, now is when I wish I had. <laughs> My only chance <sighs> is that Knockoff doesn't kill, or he's not running speed, or something or other. But he's obviously running speed for Thunderous. Ah. 
Oh, this sucks, guys. So the only chance is that Victini survives one, right? <sighs> I'm gonna run... I guess I have to go into Victini. And... Click blue flare and hope I survive. And now I just click knockoff. Man, I'm really salty right now. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys later. Kraken Nation out. Um. And just click Morning Sun from here.